Today I'm going to show you how to make this creamy, delicious mac and cheese with butternut squash. Yes, there's cheese in it still, but it's so much healthier than regular mac and cheese and you're not sacrificing any of the taste. Okay, let's get started. Starting off by prepping all of our vegetables, which means the butternut squash, the onion, and the garlic. That's it. This guy is super easy to clean and cut, but you can buy the pre-chopped ones on the market. Be totally fine and time saver. Cut the head off. The bottom. I love the color, so beautiful. And now just clean the edges off. Remove that tough skin that nobody wants to eat. All right, the skin's off. Now it's time to get to chopping. I'll separate the neck from the body where the seeds are and then just start cutting them up. You want small pieces that'll cook quickly. That's the only rule. Otherwise, we would just roast it and take all the time in the world. If there's a butternut squash recipe that you want me to make, let me know in the comments and I'd be happy to get to it. I'll add it to my production calendar. So I want about a pound of butternut squash. Let's see what we have so far. Oh good, I have a pound and change. <laughs> time for that onion. Okay, we're gonna give it a real quick chop. Now, give it a dice. Okay, set that aside, and now let's get our garlic cloves. I only need two garlic cloves for this. If you wanna add more, be my guest. I could add a whole head in, but I know not everyone loves garlic as much as I do. Give it a smash. This will help release the oils in the garlic and make it even more aromatic. Now, mince it up. Now we are ready to get cooking, let's go. We're gonna add about a tablespoon of butter in, a little bit of olive oil, and let that warm up. I'm also gonna add in about a teaspoon of salt right now. All right, once that's warm, we're gonna add in the onions. Now let's move them around the pan. We're gonna sweat the onions out, get them nice and translucent, a little caramelized, and then we'll add in our garlic. All right, the onions are nice and translucent. Time for some garlic. You don't wanna add the garlic right away because it burns really easily. All right, my onions are all sweated out, and now it's time for that squash as well as about four cups of chicken broth. Okay, stir it up, lid on, and we're gonna let this cook for about 20 minutes. The butternut squash needs to be nice and soft. Bay leaves have like the most intoxicating aroma. I had a tree growing up and these went into so many sauces. I love them. If you haven't tried them out, Give them a try, they are amazing. We're gonna add these into the onion garlic mixture and let them cook through all the way until the very end. They'll infuse a beautiful, delicate flavor in there. Now we're gonna toast some breadcrumbs. Let them brown a bit. You can sprinkle them with some salt too. Here, let them toast up. They'll be crunchy and flavorful. This delicious mixture cooked down for about 30 minutes. I let it simmer, simmer, simmer so all those flavors could really intensify and concentrate. I'm gonna pour this into a colander over a bowl. Now we're gonna carefully add this into our blender. You could use a food processor too for this. Into the mixture, we're gonna add in like three quarters of a cup of milk. Mmm. I think that's good. If it looks like it needs more liquid, we'll use some of our reserved broth mixture. So I'll take a few tablespoons at a time of the broth and add that in. There we go. Okay, so here's the deal. This is taking the place of a bechamel sauce. In a normal mac and cheese, you're gonna cook down that butter, the flour, add the milk, maybe some cream in, and then the cheeses. But right now, I want you to take a look at this. Look how creamy and delicious that is. All it needs is a little bit of cheese. You can't have mac and cheese without cheese. We will be adding in a delicious aged Gruyere. Mmm, I love it. So, shred it out, we're using one cup. All right, let's see how much we have. That looks like about a cup to me. Okay, I'm adding it into a bowl, and now for the Pecorino Romano. You could use Parmesan too, but I love Pecorino. It's something about it, it's like kind of nutty. A quarter of a cup will go a long way too. That's a quarter of a cup. 
I'm adding in a little bit extra too. And now I'm adding in a whole package or about a pound of conchili. These will cook for about eight minutes and then they're ready to use. Mmm, pasta's fresh, can you tell? All right, it's all done. I'm gonna dump it into a large bowl. This heat is gonna work in my favor. I'll start spooning in my butternut squash mixture. You don't have to add all of it in. You could reserve some for later. It depends on how saucy you want your pasta. All right, give it a mix. And now I'm adding half a teaspoon of nutmeg to my cheese. Sprinkle it out. And now let's add the cheese to that pasta. Ooh. Okay, mix it up. Oh, it looks luscious already. The cheese is melting because the pasta is so hot. I'm gonna sprinkle in about half a teaspoon of salt right now. The butternut squash is really sweet. I'm also sneaking in a little white pepper. Oof, okay. All right, now we're gonna transfer this delicious mixture into a casserole dish to bake. Get all that cheese and sauce. If you want to, you can grate a little bit more cheese on top. And now I'm gonna add on some toasted breadcrumbs. Oh, so crunchy and buttery. These pack so much flavor that they give you like an instant, like, oh, like a rush to the mouth. Into the oven at 350 for about 20 minutes just to warm it up and let it congeal. So I've been doing take after take of this outro and just taking a bite each time. I think I might be sabotaging the process because this is really delicious. So much more flavorful than regular mac and cheese, which often can be kind of just like really rich and heavy, but not very flavorful. And you can eat tons and tons and tons of it and not feel sick. I know this from recipe testing and doing multiple takes of this outro. <laughs> if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Oh wait. Mmm. Mmm. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe.